In this user guide, we'll provide an overview of adding an event with time-based entry to an event or an attraction. So we'll begin by adding a new event as we normally would, providing some basic event details. So we'll give our event a name and we'll also provide it with a category. And this will work for any event or an attraction. And we'll save those changes. Next, we'll just populate the details of our venue and save those changes. And then we'll add our first time slot to the event. So we'll, we'll provide the date and we'll give it a start time of 1 p.m. We'll have each of our time slots run for an hour. So we'll have a finished date and time of the same day an hour later at 2 p.m. and we'll click Save Changes. And next we'll add our ticket allocation, which will be on a general admission basis. And we will add a capacity for our time slot of 50 tickets. And then we'll finally add a couple of price categories for our event. And that is our first time slot set up. So we will now add an additional time slot by copying the first time slot and we'll modify that copy time slot to 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. for our second time slot. And we can make another copy of that to create our 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. time slot. And we can do that as many times as we like. So we'll do one more for our 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. time slot. And there we have one day of time slots set up. All we need to do from there is to activate the event. And if we return to the dashboard, we can see that our event is live for those four time slots. Now to add another date with those time slots, we make a copy of the first event on the 1st of July here and we set the date to the next date of our event, which we'll set as the 2nd of July and copy the event. And that will create a copy of the event for the 2nd of July with all of our time slots. And we can activate that. And if we look at the dashboard, we can see that we now have the 1st and 2nd of July. We can do that as many times as we like. So we can make another copy of our first event and set it to the 3rd of July and again, we have all of our time slots for the 3rd of July set up, activate, and back to the dashboard and we'll see that all three dates are on the dashboard now with their associated time slots.